Who's buying executive jets in these straightened days? The taxpayer, that's who, for the MOD's just spent a billion pounds on aircraft originally designed for high-flying VIPs as corporate transport goes to war. Instead of a flying boardroom, the Sentinel's a flying control room packed with sensors in its distinctive under-fuselage canoe. One aircraft's capable of monitoring movement and tracking targets right across Helmand. This is a whole new state-of-the-art radar that can see in thousands and thousands of square miles. With roadside bombs now claiming most British lives, these long-range, long-endurance aircraft are assigned to monitor changes in what's called pattern of life, a spy in the sky that can alert NATO forces early to suspicious activity. This will give us a picture of what's going on on the ground in Afghanistan better than we've ever had before. At around £200 million for each of these, it would have bought an awful lot of armoured vehicles and helicopters. But the military argue that that kind of hardware is no use unless you can use this technology to know exactly where your enemy is. We haven't got enough boots on the ground and we need to put those boots on the ground that we do have in the right place. An airborne explosion killing 14 aboard a Nimrod surveillance plane means they can no longer be refuelled in mid-air so the Sentinel will share surveillance duty, whilst another task is being lined up for the military's unmanned drones. Planes like the Reaper are being programmed to patrol supply routes. As they repeatedly map the ground below, software compares each pass and alerts controllers to the slightest changes in surface that might just conceal a buried bomb. In a war where troop numbers are limited and casualty levels sensitive, this is the smart way to fight. Jeff Meade, Sky News. Arif Modernton.